Welcome back. Today, seven reasons you need to have a wood stove. Number seven is nostalgia. Up until recent history, we weren't able to heat anything without wood. And fire was the only way to, to cook your food, heat your home, that was it. And we all take some sense of pride in doing things the old way, at least I do. I think we all take some sort of sense of pride in doing things the old way. Heating your home with fire, there really isn't anything that we can do the, the old way any more than that. Now there's easier ways to heat your home. We can have people bring stuff into our place, uh, gas, natural gas, propane, several other things people are doing to heat their home but none of those give you that source of pride about doing things the old way. Many of us grew up heating with wood and the farther back we go the more firewood was used to heat everything. So number seven is the nostalgia factor. Number six, it can be a great way to save money. If we're processing our own firewood, if we're sourcing it off of our own property, the, the cost to heat ratio is minimal. Um, if we're having to buy firewood, if we're having to buy logs, you're not saving as much money, but over the course of a year, you're still gonna save much more money than buying propane, buying natural gas, relying on somebody else to bring it into your home. Saving money is something that we're all looking to do. So burning wood is a great way to offset some of that cost that we have to put into our home each year in order to live. Everybody's out to save a little bit of money. Burning wood is a great way to do that. Sure, you need some tools in order to process your own firewood, but each month that we pay for natural gas or propane or some other source of heat, electricity, that cost is there throughout the heating season. And I would assume that one of those monthly bills or two at the most, you're probably gonna be able to buy an entry level chainsaw and a splitting mall or a splitting axe like I have. Um, that first video I did, it was less than $300 for me to get a chainsaw and that splitting axe. So uh, that's two months of a heating cost for most people, I would guess. I'm kind of going off my area, central Minnesota here. And here we have about six months of the year where we're heating our home just because of the weather. Now, obviously other areas, heating season is a lot less. So up here, we're heating your home for six months. If you can cut those heating bills in half, that's gonna more than pay for the tools that you actually need. With that savings, there's a lot more money in your pocket to be able to do other things that your family either needs or to upgrade your tools, to process firewood faster, more efficiently, more firewood. The money saving cost can be great, especially if you live on a property where you can source your own wood. So like in my situation this past year, we put the wood stove in in November. It's mid-April now. My propane heat has turned on two times. The amount of money that we saved this winter was roughly $600. And that's with winter being drastically warmer than normal. We, we had, I think, five days below zero, which is drastically less, and we had multiple days where we never got below freezing, and I was still able to save about $600. With that saving cost this winter, the, my $600, I doubled what it actually cost me in savings versus what I spent to get the tools in order to process my own firewood. That money can either be used for family purposes, or it can be rolled back in in order to buy better equipment, um, in order to process more firewood faster, um, and more efficiently. Another way we can save money by burning wood is you can have your home warmer for less cost. Um, there was several times in order to save money in the past we've had our house we've kept our thermostat at about 64 degrees just because obviously the cooler your house is the less your furnace is turning on and the less propane that you're burning or natural gas. Um, this past year we were able to keep our house about 70 to 72. All we had to do to do that was just add another log to the fire. Number five, it's a dry source of heat. I've heard wood heat described as it's like putting on a blanket versus gas heat is like having somebody breathe in your face with all the humidity. Now scientifically, it, if you kind of look at, at it that way, having all the humidity in your home, they say that it's a much more even heat source. But this last winter, we were able to keep our house much warmer as far as the ambient air temperature in that 70, 72 degree range. And all of the corners of our home was warm, whereas in the past we kept it at 64. 
and all the corners were much cooler. So it, in my situation, it sure felt like the, our home was much warmer in every corner of the house. Now I understand that's because we were able to keep our temperature much warmer. And it's a personal feel. Some people like how that gas heat feels. Some people like how the dry heat of a, of a wood fire feels. And I'm one of those people that like, and I just fall on the side that likes that drier heat. If your home has a moisture issue to begin with, in some areas where we're leaching a lot of moisture in through the basement, that dry heat source is gonna be much beneficial to you in order to help kind of dry out some of that air. Number four, wood is maybe the most renewable source of energy that we actually have. Every time you cut a tree down, it opens the canopy up and more trees sprout from the earth. If you've ever cut a green tree or a living tree down, it doesn't take very long before that stump starts to shoot up new shoots. If you've ever come through a clear cut area, it looks terrible right away. And within the next few weeks, that whole area just takes over with brand new growth of trees and shrubs and more woody plants. I can't think of any other source of heat that we could possibly have that's more removable than wood. Number three is the self-sufficiency aspect of, of heating with wood. I take a huge sense of pride in not relying on anyone to do anything for me. And having to heat with propane versus wood, you're relying on somebody else to bring you your source of heat, whether that be natural gas, whether it's propane, electricity, you're relying on someone else to heat your home, essentially. And being able to cut the wood down, split it up. I put this wood stove in by myself um, and we're able to heat the wood all on my own sweat equity. So the self-sufficiency aspect of it is huge in my opinion. Um, I think that society as a whole has gotten away from being self-sufficient which to me is a little bit on the scary side. If stuff does kind of go south, everything that you can provide for your family is one less thing that you have to rely on someone else doing for you and having wood heat is just one of those things that you can put in your back pocket that you're doing for yourself. You're providing for your family, you're being self-sufficient and that's something that we can all use, not to mention the exercise that you get out of it. That's another way of being self-sufficient. It helps get you out of the house. It's something that we could all use a little bit more of is getting out of the house, getting some fresh air, getting that exercise, and along with that exercise, we're providing for our family, we're providing for ourselves, we're providing for our home. We're able to keep a little bit of extra money in our back pocket with that sweat equity and the self-sufficiency aspect of burning your own wood is massive. Number two, it's just plain cool. If burning wood wasn't cool, they wouldn't dedicate entire channels during the Christmas season to a guy feeding a fire that you can watch on your TV. Like I mentioned earlier, everybody feels that sense of pride about doing things the old timey way or that our ancestors did or the way grandma and grandpa used to do it. And that's cool. The homesteading culture is growing like crazy and burning your wood is just part of that, that culture. There's nothing more cool than taking pride in your own work. You process in your own firewood. Every time that you put that log in the fire, you get that feeling of, of self-worth and self-pride and providing for your family and nothing's cooler than that. A fire pit's always been a social gathering place. Uh, whether it's a holidays here or a family get together or you're having friends over for a cookout, there's generally a fire at some point that happens in one of those situations. And it's an added part of the fun about all those family gatherings, all those gatherings with friends. You're hanging out around the fire. Campsites, cabins, backyards, they all have fire pits. If it wasn't cool, why would any of those places have them? It's another thing to put in your home. It's another social gathering place. We can all sit around the fire, have an adult beverage or two. All those social gathering places are, are gathered around something that's fun. And the number one reason why I think that you need to put in a wood stove is this is an emergency source of heat. It takes no electricity for this wood stove to heat our house. It's all done on ambient heat, so the fire inside heats up the steel, and that steel kind of recirculates the air. Um, I have, this is an alcove style stove, so we're open above this stone here, so the warm air comes out the top through the room and it brings cool air in through the bottom. It's bringing outside air in to, for the combustion chamber, so we're not sucking cold air from the inside of our home. 
But having that emergency source of heat in the wintertime, if the power goes out for weather reasons, if it goes out for some other unbeknownst reason, I can heat my home for weeks at a time for free. Power can be off and we're still able to heat our home. I can't begin to explain how my sense of self-security has gone up since we've gotten the wood stove and I can withstand a, a one week long power outage. Before, if the power would have went out in an extended period of time, like a week or two weeks, even three days would have been to where our home, the pipes are gonna freeze and our home is gonna be in a really bad situation by the time that the power were to come back on and our heat was able to kick back in. With this wood stove, with no electricity heating our home, I don't have to deal with that worry anymore. Our, if it does actually happen, we have this source of heat that's gonna kick us through till the time that when the power comes back on. With the way that the, uh, they keep talking about power shortages and power outages, this is a great way to combat some of that stuff. Well, we have six months of the year where if we lose power for a week, our pipes might freeze. So this source of heat running on no electricity is going to be able to kick us all the way through any of those. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. I did set up a store. If you want to get some Central Minnesota Firewood gear, there's a link down in the description. I also have some of my G4 Designs clothing down in there. That's for my cabinet shop building um, if you want to help support the channel. Click on those Amazon links, buy any of those tools that you might need, buy any of the stuff that I use here on the channel. And if you, if you want to get some official merchandise, feel free to, to go through there too. Thank you, guys.